Jimmy Jeffrey, uh, I reckon I've got about a 35% chance of having pronounced that right, uh, was a jazz clarinetist and saxophonist from Dallas, Texas. He was particularly known for promoting free improvisation and paving the way for free jazz in that. His career spanned from the 1940s to the 1990s. His first album came out in 1955. His last was in 1996, and there's quite a lot of them in between. Hi, my name's Dan, as always, um, and this is uh, an album of jazz by Jimmy Jeffrey and two bandmates uh, making them the Jimmy Jeffrey Three, and uh, this was the first album that this particular um, uh, uh, combination, uh, uh, computation of people uh, released, um, and it's my first time listening to it. So we've got uh, Jimmy on baritone and tenor saxophones and clarinet. Obviously not all at the same time. Uh, they haven't done overdubs. There's only the three of them playing at any point. There's a guy a guy called Ralph Pena on bass, uh, of course, bright uh, acoustic bass, and Jim Hall on guitar. Now, neither of those are names that I particularly uh, recognize from any of my previous uh, uh, explorations in jazz. Um, and it's instrumental jazz. Um, it's uh, interesting uh, because it feels quite unusual without having drums in. Um, and I think one of the huge indicators of uh, symptoms of jazz, you might say, is the uh, is the drumming, particularly the either the the brushes on the snare or the use of the on the on the ride cymbal. They make a really good use of the space. So there's just three of them. Uh, all three of them play well, which is no surprise for an album that's, um, you know, this well regarded and from jazz musicians. Uh, they play well together. Again, not a huge surprise for a jazz album. Um, they do have nowhere to hide in a trio like this. They're very exposed, um, but they make it work really well and they use that kind of dynamic between them really well. Um, the sound that they use is uh, generally quite quiet. Uh, even when they're going fast, uh, they don't feel the need to play loud. And uh, Jim is particularly noticing in uh, Jimmy's playing with the saxophones on the clarinet that it's quite breathy, is the sound. Uh, so it gives it that kind of slightly ethereal feel you get from breathy reed instruments. Um, it's very laid back, I would say. Even uh, when it's uh, somewhat faster, partly because it's kind of got, you know, it's got that jazz attitude of, yeah, man, lay back, uh, partly because of the lack of drums as well. But it makes it, um, it makes it really intimate and it makes it feel like it's the sort of thing that would only really work well in a small room setting. So often I talk about jazz and say that, it, you know, this is the sort of jazz that would work in a kind of smoky basement club somewhere. Well, I think this is the kind of jazz that would work better in, in somebody's living room almost. It's that kind of intimate and small. Musically, it's not pushing the boundaries in any particular way. I mean, you know, it's jazz, so there's always some interesting stuff going on, but it's not uh, particularly free. I don't think it's modal. I'm not sure if I can really spot the difference of what that is yet. It's certainly not discordant and um, uh, getting kind of way off the, the harmonies that we're used to. Uh, there's a lot of intelligent arranging going on. They use the, the different sounds that they've got. So the, I mean, it's, the bass is generally at the bass end, but then you've got uh, the other two are kind of in the same uh, tonal space, as it were. And they, you know, they, they play harmonies with each other, guitar and the saxophone or clarinet. Um, and little runs in between each other, and it's all kind of really nicely done. Um, so it, it, it's a gentle album. It's a really engaging album, I found it. I, I, in fact, I think it's a really strong album, some great playing in here. It's not in your face at all. It's quite 
subtle, uh, but if you uh, engage with it, it's quite it, it draws you in and brings you in this into this kind of intimacy of the album. So I really enjoyed it. Um, and as always, at this point, I'd love to ask you what you think of this album. So please do leave a comment and let me know. And that's it from me for now. Mm-hmm.